Hey everybody, in this video we're going to go over Aruba ClearPass and set up Mac Authentication Bypass, MAB. So if you could subscribe to this channel, I would appreciate it. And thank you very much for that. So let me show you what we're, we're talking about. We're talking about MAB and that's going to bypass having to log in with a username. You can see here, this is using a username for .1x wired. And what we want to do is, there, there's going to be devices such as cameras, printers, things like that, that do not have a supplicant, like Windows. And so Windows has a supplicant, so we're able to log in and send credentials. But cameras and printers and things of that nature, they don't. So we have to allow those on the network because they're important. And there's also going to be other devices, security devices, anything like that, things like that that are that are older that don't have a supplicant built in, a dot one X supplicant. So for those, what we do is we set up a device We set up a, a authentication using MAB. And you, you can see right here in this uh, ClearPass Policy Manager Access Tracker right here under Monitoring, Live Monitoring Access Tracker, you can see it sends, it's still sending the MAC address for devices that we have. This is for the Windows device. Let's go back here and we'll go here and we'll look. So. This is the Windows 10, and you can see right here, 50.0.0.23. So 23, pay attention to that. And there you can see it's sending 50.0.0.23. So that's, and if we look at it, it's not matching anything, right? It's not matching any service. So it's basically, so method there you can see the method, MAB. So it's sending it through and trying to get authenticated. But you can see there's no service set up for it. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going we're gonna to set this up. And what I'll, what I'll do here is I'm just going to set it up for this Windows device. Now we Because we don't have a printer here in EVNG. I don't know if you can... Simulate a printer, maybe you can. It could be possible, but right now, what we'll do is we'll just use this device. So what we'll do is we'll go into Clear ClearPass, go to Configuration. We're going to disable this, this service. So let's go to Services. And there you see it, Wired Test Eve EPTLS. That's what we're using right now. We'll disable that. Uh, you can see we have Mac authentication right here. This is a this is a test that I did. So we'll create a new one. We're not going to use that. I can show you it. Let's let's look at it though quickly. So this is just using using the configuration wizard, the service setup. We cr I created this, and you can see what it does. Client MAC address equals username. The authentication is using the endpoints repository. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set it up to use the endpoints repository. And that's in under here, under identity. You could also do a static host list if you wanted to for printers, for things like that. You can use roles. There's there's other ways to do this. What we're going to do is we're just I'm just going to show you the endpoint. If we look at endpoints. Here you can see all the endpoints. And you see, remember ours is 23. So look, that's that's set as known. So I'm going to change that actually. Let's change that to unknown client. Hit save. And I think that's all we have to do there. Save. Okay. So that's an unknown client. So that should not authenticate when we attempt to do this. 
So if you want to see how to set up the supplicant, you can go in and look in other videos. I have two other series on PEEP and EEP TLS with Aruba ClearPass. But basically you're just going into properties of the controller, authentication, and just making sure that this is set up and on. Enable IE, IEEE 802.1x authentication. So that's the window set up on the switch. Here's the switch. Let's log in there. It's using TACAX to log in. And you'll see that coming up here in the monitoring access tracker. There's the TACAX connection. Accept, accept. Perfect. One except for the initial login, one except for the enable. So this comes into play right here. We can look at one of these that's set up for order map dot one x priority dot one x map. So that's that's where we set it up, and we're allowing map for this port. All right, so let's let's get into the actual setup here. So we're going to go to configuration, like we always do, and go to services, uh, service templates, and wizards. Let's see if we have a device Mac authentication. So that is not the one we want to use. Let's take a look here. We want to use, let me see which one. I think we just want to go to add. We're just going to add a service. Yeah, that's what we want to do here. So we just want to add, basically add a service. And we're going to use Mac authentication. Okay, you see that changes that down here. So this is Mac-based authentication. We'll call this Cisco Mab. And then we want to go in to authentication. And you can see the authentication is Mac auth. And the authentication source is going to be the endpoints repository. Roles, we're not going to do. Enforcement, we're going to set up an enforcement policy. So right now this is a sample allow access policy. We're going to change that. So let's save this and then we'll create this enforcement policy. Okay. So we have Cisco Mab using Mac authentication. Okay, let's go to the enforcement policies. So we'll go to our policies and what we'll do is we'll add a new policy And we'll call it Cisco Mab. And it'll be radius, default profile. Let's just pick this rules. Let's add a rule. Okay, so for this, what we're going to do is we are going to say, we're going to base it on what was in that 
repository. So we're going to say authorization, endpoints repository, equals status, status. So we're going to use the status and equals, and we're going to use known. And for the known one, we'll give it wired profile two. And we're going to add a rule for the unknown. So endpoints repository status. And you can see you can pick a lot of different things in here. OS family, device name. So there's fingerprint. I think there's many things you can do here. And I'm going to pick equals. And I'm going to put this one as unknown. So we're going to give this one wired profile one. So there you go. Equals known, equals unknown. Select first match. Okay. So this is going to be our policy. So we, we used profiles from what we had before. So we didn't have to create new profiles, but if you wanted to go into profiles, you could certainly see we just used, I don't, I'm not even sure which one I used. Let's check that again. So this is the Cisco Mab, and I used Testy Wired. I actually used two different ones. Let's fix that. So if we go to rules, go into here, edit rule. I want to use the EAP ones that, just because that's the ones I used last time. So that should be EAP. We're going to remove this and save it. Test EAP, wired profile two, looks good. Save it. Okay, so if you go to your profiles, we can look at the wired profile one. Well, this is the default. So let's go to the wired profile one. And you can see all we're doing here is we are accepting and we're assigning a VLAN. So that's all we're going to do. So let's go back. Okay, I got kicked out. Let's go back in there. So that's what we have set up right now. And so let's go to monitoring. and our access tracker, and we don't see anything new on there, which seems fine. All right, so let's open up this device. Okay, so there we are on this device. What we'll do is we will reboot this. So this is the 23. So let's shut this down, let's restart this, okay. And right there, you can see it got rejected because we let's see what it's trying to match. So there's no service. It's not seeing any service to, to connect to right here. So it's, it's just not matching anything. Okay. So that's, that's right. That's what we expect to see. when it sends the host. Okay, so now it's hitting Cisco map. You can see that. So the service, it's matching this. When it sends this, when it sends the MAC address, it's, it's getting this and it's rejecting it. So why is it rejecting it? I'll show you why. So it's saying Mac authentication attempted by unknown client rejected.
so that's telling me enforcement profiles, allow access profile, authentication source, none. So that tells me that there's not there's something wrong with our configuration. Let, let me check our configuration. Go back to services. Mab, Cisco Mab. Let's make sure we're authenticating this correctly. That looks fine. Let me check the other, my test one. Okay, so I authorize audit and profile. So let's do that on this one. So we'll set this up for authorization, audit, and profile. All right. All right, I'm going to save that. All right, so we're going to have to set up some authorization sources. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pause, I'm going to stop this video, and we're going to go into the, into the next video. What we'll do is we'll continue configuring this. Thank you for watching.